Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video of this knife that I just got. It is a traditional folding knife and is nothing like the knives that I've been reviewing on the channel and you might see more of these. I'm really starting to like them and I may talk about that in this first impressions. This is a GEC knife. If we look at the tube that uh, comes with all of their knives. You can see that it is of the farm and field uh, lineup. And it's a very windy day, guys, so I hope that doesn't mess with the audio. I'm sorry if it does. Uh, you see that this knife is in 1095 carbon steel. And it is a hay and helper. Alright? You look at the top of the tube, and you can see a little bit more specifics. It's made in black linen micarta. And it is the uh, I think this is called the uh, 47, the, yeah, the 47 model. And if you open the tube, there's the wax paper that this knife came in. I just received this knife today, as of June 13th, I think, is today. And I'm just going to give a little, a little, um, first impressions video on it. Alright, so if the camera will focus, you'll see that this has a nice sheep's foot blade. That's one of the things I wanted. Uh, the other um, GEC knife in the 47 lineup has a hawkbill blade. And although that offers a lot of the same utility that a sheep's foot does, it uh, you know, isn't quite as uh, versatile. And you know, if uh, I'm cunning and I'm wanting to make slices down like this, the hawkbill that point might get in the way and it might keep me from doing some work and I also just kind of look like the looks of this one better and I think it's gonna sharpen a little bit better it is not however a completely straight edge um, it does have a little bit of uh, trail coming down but for the most part it's a sheep's foot, sheep's foot or worn cliff blade <clears throat> One of the first things I noticed when I got this knife is how skinny that edge bevel is. I mean, that thing is small. Like, you look at it like this and you don't even see it. But it's there and it's just very skinny. Now, I would have brought phone book, phone book paper out here to uh, show you the edge. Um, it is fairly sharp. I'm going to sharpen this before the review. And it is not nearly as sharp as any of my other knives. It, it can cut phone book paper, but it kind of tears it. It's not a very clean cut. The handle is comfortable in all the ways you'd want this knife to be. It is a polished linen micarta. Fit and finish seems to be really good. I'll talk more in detail about that and, um, in the full-on review. I mostly am going to be pinching the blade probably and not using that nail nick. Centering is about perfect, as I can tell. Um, let's do some size comparisons. So there's the GEC 47. Let's compare it to the only other traditional type knife that I have, and this is the Victorinox Farmer. And this is the same size as the Pioneer and then the Pioneer X model that just came out that everybody's all excited about. And this one does has have my edge, as you can tell. And, you know, real quick, let's just compare the width of the edges here of the of the edge bevels the camera doesn't seem to want to focus today so even though it's unfocused I think you can see there that there's a significant di 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 difference there we go sorry I'm having trouble talking today guys um, so that just kind of proves the point that this that this edge bevel is very skinny. So anyway, let's get to the size comparison here. Line up the handles. You can see that the GEC is bigger 
Um, not too much in the handle. The handle is about the same. Uh, but the blade, you get some more blade in the GEC. Not a lot, but you know, it's there. How about, uh, since I have this, um, I'm going to be doing a video on this. This is a customer knife. The Kershaw Oso oh Sweet. You line it there. And the Oso oh Sweet is bigger than the GEC, but not by much. I mean, I got to be honest. It's about as it's about just as big as the uh, or the difference between the GEC and the Oso oh Sweet is about the same as the difference between the Pi the uh, Victorinox and the GEC. How about my 3 inch Hinder XM18? Three M H the three inch XM eighteen is bigger, but not by a lot. Not by a lot. This is a fairly this is a perfect size traditional pocket knife in my opinion. Fits right in, and this is going to be a companion knife that I will be carrying with my XM eighteen and with my Sabenza and my uh Southern Avo and my in uh, intact, and I have a mantra on the way now. I think it's the mantra two, the one with the sheep's foot blade. Also, I have that on on its way, and this will be a companion piece to that knife as well. One thing I was uh, a little surprised at was the light pressure. It might be because I'm used to this farmer, and this farmer has a fairly strong spring on all of the tools here and I was expecting something like that because people were saying that GECs especially this farm and field model have a pretty can have a pretty strong pull but this is actually fairly light in my opinion secure though especially with that half stop there so anyway this is just a little first impressions video not a detailed review I will go into detail on this knife. I just want to show it to you guys and cover some basics here. I really like it. It's very ergonomic, it's very classy, it's very good looking. I'm sure it's going to be very utilitarian. I've already used this whenever I was sharpening this knife today. Cut the tape. Um, normally what I do is I just get a piece of tape and I line it across here and then I cut along the length of the belly and you can see it doesn't add any scratches so that's good. But this knife, especially with that warm cliff point, was very, you know, was very good at cutting the tape there. So, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this knife. Um, I think that the place you can get this right now is GP Knives in this exact configuration with the black linen micarta and the sheep's foot blade. The hawkbill blade is pretty much everywhere from what I've seen. GP Knives has it. Knives Ship Free has it. Um, I got this knife from the. I got this knife from Northwest Knife Company, and this was the last one they had in stock. So you won't find this exact configuration there. But if you like the handle and you know you're cool with the hawkbill blade shape, I would suggest checking that one out, or checking this exact configuration off of GP Knives. So anyway, guys, that's just a little first impressions. Subscribe, comment, like. All that stuff, follow me on Instagram. And let me know if you want to get your knives sharpened. My books are opening up again because I just finished a huge order. Alright, have a good one guys.